Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing another food eating challenge to my channel. We're going to be doing the too good to go eating challenge for a whole day. We're going to be saving leftover food. If you guys don't know what it is, it's an app where you can rescue food that hasn't sold from the day in various supermarkets and restaurants and stuff like that. But you can pick up some really great bargains and as well as that, saving food from going to waste and being thrown away into the bin. So this morning, obviously we're going to be having our breakfast first. So for my first two good to go bargain of the day i'm going to be heading to greg's it's 8 50 in the morning i've got 10 minutes left of my slot to pick up my bag i paid two pound 59 for this so i'm really excited to see what we get i've never picked up anything from greg's in the morning i've always done it sort of four or five o'clock so i'm really intrigued to see what we're going to find hopefully some breakfast items ready for breakfast who knows i'm going to head in there now Hi guys, so I'm back from visiting Greg's to pick up my bag. Um, a little bit disappointed this time because they never prepared the orders last night, so they basically just gave me food to kind of fit the £2.59 price, which isn't the point of too good to go. You're supposed to be rescuing genuine food, which is basically due to go in the bin. So a little bit disappointed, but yeah, we have got a pack of yum yums here. I think the retail price for this is probably around two pounds. And then I've also got a egg mayonnaise sandwich. Again, this one isn't out of date or anything like that. They just literally give it to me because they didn't prepare the bags yesterday. And then I've also got a pack of sausage rolls as well. So this is what I got for my first bag of the day. So I think for my breakfast, I'm literally going to be eating an egg egg mayonnaise sandwich and a yum yum I'm not, not gonna eat both of them that's a bit too much maybe I will we'll see how it goes but yeah that one was £2.59 there's absolutely nothing wrong with it it's perfectly in date so for £2.59 even though it's not kind of like out of date food I'm pretty happy with it because I've definitely saved money by doing this in the meantime so yeah not too bad first time I've eaten a sandwich for breakfast in years so I'm at my next stop now, which is Redwood Farm, which is basically a carvery restaurant place in the UK. We have so many of these. And I basically picked up a breakfast too good to go bag. This one again was £2.99, I'll leave it here. And it's a vegetarian breakfast bag. So I don't really know what to expect, never done it before. The only one I've ever done here before is the carvery and that was a really good value. And what I can remember last time is you could literally pick off the carvery buffet, whatever you want for a discounted price, which I think is such a good deal and such a great way to save food and to save money if you are wanting to go out for a meal and can't really afford to at the same time so yeah i'm just gonna head in now collect my breakfast show you guys what it looks like and then have a good old munch because i feel like greg's really let me down this time they didn't prepare the bag the leftover food weren't really leftovers so hopefully this one can save it and i can feel a bit more satisfied because yeah a yum yum and an egg mayonnaise sandwich in the morning <laughs> was not the best So I've just been inside Redwood Farm and picked up my breakfast for today. Um, as you can see here, this is everything that I picked up for £2.99. See, it was a help yourself buffet that they let us do, so that was really cool. I added some bacon and some sausages for the dogs as well. Even some hash browns, which I don't like, but just because there wasn't many vegetarian options, I just decided to go for those and just, yeah, just try and get those down somehow but yeah i've got some toast scrambled egg baked beans sausages bacon and two hash browns not bad for two pound 99 so let's go and eat it <laughs> what do you like you want a sausage you want a bacon yeah good girl <laughs> so i'm just gonna give the dog some sausages they're going crazy for it right now let's go yippee oh that's good boy it's still really warm as well <gasps> that's lovely and it's got two more sausages there so one sausage for green now. Excuse the really harsh lighting, but I've got my breakfast here. And like I said, this one was £2.99 and I could help myself. So that was an absolute great thing for this morning because after the egg sandwich and a yum yum for breakfast, I was really craving an actual breakfast type food. So yeah, I've got two hash browns, some scrambled egg, baked beans and a handful of toast. Giving the dogs a sausage and bacon, which they absolutely love. So yeah, we're going to tuck into this now and I will catch up with you guys in the next segment hi guys so it's now 20 past three in the afternoon it's been a couple of hours since i've eaten last i'm just thought i'm gonna go and collect a couple of bags now i've got one from costa and one from parsons bakery and just to see what we kind of pick up and just make it a little bit more fun for you guys to watch as well because i absolutely love doing these i love opening them up and finding out what's inside but we haven't actually got anything that's becoming like a bag and a complete surprise yet so i'm hoping out of the next two we'll have one of those because that's what the whole thing's about like a surprise bag if you guys are interested in using too good to 
go the best time of day to kind of get some bits and bobs from any of your local stores or cafes it's probably around this time like between three and five o'clock they normally post online that they have some uh, leftover foods on their app so yeah anytime between now and five you tend to get bookings available i'm going to go in grab the bag without waffling on too much and i'll let you guys know what we've got so yeah really cannot wait for that so let's go So I've just picked up my too good to go bag from Costa. Now we actually got it in a bag this time. So it normally looks a little bit like this, like a normal food bag sort of thing. Don't know what's going on with the angle of my camera. Sorry about that. So before I head off to Parsons, I'll quickly show you guys what I picked up in this little Costa bag. In this little bag here, we've got two croissants, as you can see. Um, I think I paid £3.50 for this one. And then I've got one smoked bacon roll and another smoked bacon roll. So I've got two smoked bacon rolls and two croissants, which sounds like a breakfast meal to me. I can't eat the two bacon rolls again because I'm vegetarian. It's a shame that they don't offer like a vegetarian option. On some of the cafes and shops they actually do, but yeah, this is gonna have to be a breakfast option for Josh tomorrow morning, but can't complain about the croissants. So yeah, this one was £3.50. Costa is quite an expensive place to go with it, being full price anyway. So I wasn't expecting anything too extravagant, but always good to kind of give it a go and see what you pick up. If you were a meat eater, that is definitely a good option, like a croissant and a bacon can roll for two not really too bad for £3.50 especially for Costa and their prices so yeah I've got two more collections to do now I'm going back to Parsons in Westbury and then I've got another one in Costa again just because I want to see how it is to compare to different stores it goes down to staff and as well if they understand too good to go or if there generally is enough good items left at the end of the day because basically I am buying leftovers at a cheaper affordable price so you aren't going to expect anything too extravagant to be honest with you because again they are probably the most least selling items in the shop that day or just in general to be honest with you so that being said I'm gonna head off to Parsons head off to my next Costa drop and I'll see you guys then in the car so before I head in and collect my last two bags for my lunch afternoon snack sort of thing I just want to quickly talk to you guys about too good to go and obviously this video is not sponsored in any way I just really enjoy the app I find it a nice fun little twist to add to your like lunch or dinner or even your breakfast or just a little treat for yourself and your family if you fancied it for like an affordable price but yeah I definitely think that it depends on the brand as well like like I said with Costa, you're more likely to find stuff that are just items that don't really sell well that day. So typically the stuff you wouldn't normally buy when you go there. And then when you go to restaurants and stuff like that, it can literally be condiments, it can be a meal, it can be literally anything left over from the day. It could be salt and pepper shakers, it can literally be anything. But despite all of that, it has to be a value of what you're paying for. So if it doesn't meet the £2.59, so say for example you find one for Morrison's um, which I have used personally quite a lot of the time you get a lot of yellow sticker items in a bag like full of it all together but if it doesn't total to the amount of like £2.50 or £3.50 even though it's yellow stickers you can basically ask for a refund because it's not part of the policy even though you are getting a bargain there are definitely policies in place if it isn't the full value price or whatever and obviously if the food is really mouldy and inedible you could also complain as well luckily I haven't had anything like that since I've been using the app it's all been really edible food apart from the fact it's not suitable to my diet i think personally they should add more options on there for that but i guess it is like leftover food i don't know but it is a little bit of a thing for me i do always struggle because every single time i pick one up there's always a meat item product in there which i can't eat but um what i do do with that is obviously i've got the sausage rolls with me now i'm going to take them to my mum's house because they all eat meat apart from my sister so i definitely enjoy those sausage rolls <laughs> Hello. The dogs are loving all this food business going on because <laughs> I'm getting all the leftovers, all the bits that I can't eat. They are loving it. We've got two very happy doggies here. Hi guys, so I'm now back at home. I've been to my mum's, dropped off the sausage rolls and the two bacon rolls because I had a little sneak peek in the Costa bag that I picked up and believe it or not, there is another bacon roll in there and I just feel like Josh is definitely not gonna wanna eat three at this point, so yeah. Obviously from the first bag that I picked up, I've just got the leftover two croissants. Now I'm just gonna eat one of them maybe today or tomorrow for breakfast just because I don't wanna waste any of it, you know what I mean? So this is the second bag which I picked up from Costa today. Another bacon roll there and what's this? Oh, we've actually got a Wiltshire ham and cheese toasty as well. Again, something that Josh can enjoy, definitely. Oh my God. 
And what is it? It was egg sandwiches. We've got another egg sandwich for today. I'm not gonna eat this today. I'm gonna have to have this tomorrow. But yeah, I've got another egg sandwich in there. So this one, again, like I said, this one was £2.59, I think, for Costa. No, £3.50. So for that, you get basically all sandwiches. So ham and Wiltshire sandwich, bacon roll, and an egg mayo sandwich. So can't really complain because like I said in the car earlier, Costa is quite expensive. Like probably you're paying £4.50 for this alone. And then for this one, £4.50 again, and then probably £4. Retail price, you're looking at £11 value. I don't eat meat, so I can't eat any of it. So that's gonna be something for Josh later. So the one that I'm the most yeah this is what too good to go for me is all about is having a good old bag like this this one is from parsons bakery i absolutely love parsons bakery anyway the one that i go to is just such a nice friendly vibe so yeah really like that but yeah i've got a massive bag full of stuff from there so we're just gonna have a little look through basically as she was giving me the bag she actually offered me to have another sandwich off the shelf so i was like oh that could be a good opportunity to have something that i actually can eat because i don't know what's inside any of this so i picked up the tuna and cucumber baguette so yeah i actually know about that one so that's what it looks like here tuna mayo baguette with some cucumber so i definitely know that i've got a sandwich that i can eat for my lunch today my late lunch yeah to go with that then we've also got what's this Oh, we've got loads of little bags in here that's exciting uh, we've got a chicken and stuffing sandwich with cranberry again i can't actually eat that because i don't eat meat but i'm sure someone in the family will enjoy that and in this bag what have we got here some kind of um chelsea bun is that a chelsea bun but it's got fruit in it is it a danish bun i think it is again josh loves that so he can have that oh that's a hot crust bun has to be again not a fan of hot crust buns another thing that josh can have tomorrow or he can even take it to work because guys love all that sort of stuff hopefully there's something in there that i can actually enjoy for myself i think that's a cheese and onion pasty i might try it i don't really like them but i might give it a go surprise surprise another cheese and onion you can just smell the cheese and onion cheese and onion pasty i'm sure for like the standard meat lover family today would have been an absolute like complete bargain not gonna lie if it wasn't for the tuna sandwich i would have had nothing to eat for my lunch today and then here we've got two more sausage rolls so out of everything that i picked up i can only eat the tuna mayo baguette possibly give the danish bun or the hot crust bun a go even though i'm not really 100 percent a fan again not really picked up anything that i can personally enjoy but the whole purpose of this video is to just rescue food that would have gone to waste this food is not going to go to waste at all it's definitely going to go to good hands i've just been quite unlucky with the bags that i picked up in this video so far but you can't really predict it everything is like literally leftover so you can't really predict what you're gonna get the only thing i can have is this tuna mayo baguette with a cross on i wouldn't normally go out and buy loads of food like this on the app i'm just basically doing it for the purpose of this video to try and get something edible and just to show you guys what you can kind of get for the money but just because i personally don't eat meat and i struggle with the options that i've been provided with don't mean i'm going to waste any of it in any way at all they will be going to possibly josh my family and he might take a couple of it to work tomorrow i'm gonna get a head off now have my tuna and cucumber baguettes i cannot wait for that and i've got one more collection which hopefully will be a good one and that is a carvery later on today um but that's not until half past i think half past eight or nine o'clock something like that so fingers crossed i could pick up a nice little carvery there not sure if it's going to be like a help yourself thing like it was with the breakfast this morning but either way it'd be really really appreciated because i'm just really craving a nice hot meal again so yeah i'm gonna head off have my baguette and i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit before i head off for my carvery hi guys so it's a couple of hours later it's a lot more darker but my auntie's actually invited me out for bonfire night tonight which i haven't done for so many years so yeah i'm currently at Cantford park which is in bristol for bonfire night and i cannot wait i've been such a long day today but i'm really excited to kind of end the day doing this and i've got a nice too good to go bag at the end of it a nice carvery so i cannot wait for that either so yeah free ticket can't pass up the opportunity haven't been to a bonfire night for over three years now because obviously i've got dogs and they're super scared of fireworks got my nice cozy little autumnal coat on as well i've been dying to wear this for bonfire night finally got the opportunity to do that so cannot wait i hope you guys enjoy this little part of the video wasn't expected today so yeah really looking forward to watching the fireworks so let's go and do it Hi guys, 
so I've now finished watching the fireworks. I've gone to Toby Carvery to collect my last two good to go surprise bag of the day. And I've just picked up this massive box full of carvery goodies we didn't get to pick it out from the carvery deck but it's all pre-prepared and made there so i'm gonna head back now obviously it's quite late it's half past eight in the evening now so i'm gonna head back and show you guys what's inside really warm really nice and fresh so cannot wait to dig into this after a nice evening watching the fireworks so yeah, i'm gonna head back now show you guys what's inside this little box so i'll see you guys back at home so i'm now back at home excuse the tumble dryer i've got it on but yeah we'll just have a little look now and see what's inside Oh, so we've got some carrots, got some parsnips, some peas, cauliflower cheese, literally the full Monty roast potatoes down there. Oh, we've even got some sprouts as well, proper in this Christmas spirit. Mashed potato, I think, at the end of my fork there. This one was £3.99 for all of this. I think that's a pretty good bargain especially on a weekend like roast dinners are normally quite expensive i managed to get all of this it's still quite warm as well so can't wait to tuck into this and this is my last meal of this whole challenge so to end on a roast dinner cannot wait and like i said most of the day i've spent eating bakery sort of goods like croissants i've had baguettes i've had sandwiches so yeah i'm gonna eat this now watch a little bit of a movie and um, sum the video up. So that's what we're gonna do. Just gonna sit here with the coat on because it's actually really snuggy and com snuggy, really snuggly and comfortable. I'm gonna put you guys down over here. Excuse the lighting, it's quite quite harsh on the old face there. I've got my little roast dinner here. I'm just gonna talk to you guys, sum the video up, and just basically share. Um, I'm not gonna talk with my mouth full because that's just not right. But yeah, before this gets cold, I wanna just kind of quickly get this done. Basically, I've had a really fun day trying all of the two good to go leftovers from Greg's, from Parsons, from where else did I go? And Costa, and even Redwood Farm with the breakfast. Such a great day. I've had a really fun time experimenting with this challenge, trying Too Good To Go for a whole day. The whole purpose of Too Good To Go is to save food from going to waste, so love that. But obviously I was a bit disappointed at Greg's this morning. They basically just gave me stuff off the shelf, like it wasn't anything wrong with it. Things to take away from this, if you've never used Too Good To Go before, sometimes you can get your meals canceled. So basically, if they haven't got any food left over for the day, and they can basically cancel your order so just be prepared of that obviously you've got to be available to pick up your order between a certain times if you're after that time you can't pick it up because you've got to swipe off on the app to show that you've collected that order basically and obviously after a certain time you're not able to do that obviously most of the stuff you pick up isn't going to be amazing stuff like today's kind of proven that I'm sorry my throat's quite sore because obviously i've been dancing and singing at that little rave party at the fireworks show usually too good to go bags are under five pounds like between 2.99 350 something like that and most of today has been that way the biggest price i think i've paid today was the parsons one which was four pounds 59 but i got so much stuff out of that but i think if i was to do this again i'd probably go for like vegan options only or vegetarian but obviously i did plan this a little bit late and obviously on the day so I could only pick up what was available to me at the time but yeah i managed to pick up a vegetarian curry which i've got here got the vegetarian breakfast that was really really nice and obviously a few little picky bits throughout the day but yeah i'm gonna sit here enjoy my curry now end the vlog here i hope you guys have enjoyed watching me eat only too good to go food for 24 hours well a day i don't know why it's always 24 hours but eating too good to go for a whole day it's been such a fun challenge to do and i've always wanted to give this a try but just never really had the time to do it so i'm so glad i've got to do it now so I've got Doris in the background there. You can see her, like, she loves the carrot. I'm just going to give her a carrot, just keep her occupied. There you go, Nugget. If you guys have enjoyed watching today and following me around and seeing what I picked up from the Too Good To Go surprise bags, give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And if you've actually tried Too Good To Go and watched this far ahead in the video, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video and what you think of Too Good To Go. I know there's another app called Olio as well, which is where you can go and buy um, leftover food from supermarkets, like the yellow sticker stuff. So that could be an option to do in the future. Not sure. If you guys want to see it, let me know. I will try and do that but i've never used the app before so i have no idea how it works so i have to put a bit of research into that one so that's it for me today i hope you guys have enjoyed watching me eat all these goodies and just yeah seeing how this experiment goes i hope you guys are doing well and i'll see you all again soon in my next video bye don't know why that was so stiff but bye <laughs>